Hello everybody, Princess Barry here, and we're running late. As usual, it's probably my fault, but uh, we're headed to... Frontera? Frontera. Cochina? Yes. It's been a bit. I've been craving it for a while. I asked Princess to go months ago, and then yes. every time I want to do it, I bail. So we're finally well, getting around to it. Sick, so. Yeah, then we got sick. So it's time to go uh, put some Cochina in our Frontera? Yes. Be sure to lay. You heard the girl. white sangria. It's got this lovely line of tahini on it. It's very peachy. It doesn't have a peach liqueur in it. Sweet. Perfect sangria. I would say it rivals three bridges. I would give this four out of five sangrias. I love that bit of extra with the tahine sort of like happy trail and it is a happy trail no complaints it's a bit much but i like the much sangria with tahine makes my mouth tickle so good the four and a half out of five applause a little bit extra kick. This is the only margarita with mezcal in it, and I didn't want it because it's spicy. It's like a jalapeno in it. It's actually more smoky than spicy. It's a pretty good mezcal mar, I'm not gonna lie. I would give it a three out of five um, agaves. So I saw this and I couldn't resist. You put smoky. Pineapple and margarita all want the same phrase. How can I say no? It's like black salt rim here. Mm. It's like drinking a campfire with a pineapple garnish. Apparently, but no wonder some people think this is too smoky. My eyes aren't ordering yet. I am not yet satisfied. The margarita itself, though, is pretty good. We don't like pineapple, the pineapple flavor is a bit strong, but I would still give it a 4 out of 5 balls. So we have a beautiful salsa verde guacamole. I'm gonna get all the goodness here. Cheers. Mmm. Crunchy, well mixed, very flavorful. Absolutely, that's like the nice of it. It's a little salty. It's a little on the salty side, but that's not too terrible. I think with some of these sauces, it's going to balance very well. I will give that a three and a half out of five guacamoles. I want to try it. Guacamole. There, day. Yeah, you can taste the tomatillo, like, mmm, that's beautiful. Oh, that totally elevated it to four out of five guacamoles. And now we have a rojo. Mmm, okay. That one's a little more smoky, a little more light. Um, Raja is very beautiful. I will give that one um, three and a half out of five guacamoles overall. The dish this is one that you should get, especially if you're going to be here with like a bunch of people. This is totally like an awesome shareable. That's vegan. I'm here for the options of the guacamole. I'm going to give you an option of sauces, so. We're here to get something vegan, and I don't have to worry about dying with mango. But this is a beautiful, like, leaf is displayed on here. It's not very useful, but it's a nice little touch. You have this beautiful block. They're not afraid to mix some things in. Let's see how this does. Why can everybody's base guac be that good? That's a solid guacamole. 
some chunks, but still very smooth. Nice flavor, nice textures, the add-ins. Add, but don't take away from the guacamole itself. That on its own is a four out of five applause. Let's try with some of this verde sauce here. Get too greedy here. Dip it a little bit of green. Yes. Mm. Well, there's a little kick to it. Front of the mouth. Got three out of two on the spice scale. For those of us that are dead inside, anyway. But like the brightness of the verde definitely adds a lot to the guacamole, and they feel like they were faded for each other. I think it's four and a half out of five bars. As for the rojo, is that a little dip? Maybe it's an opposite to the verde. It's a nice contrast between the two. I think that sauce is as good as the verde, but with that, I'm giving it a four out of five plus. The verde, I think, is definitely the better of the two sauces. And here we have the red sangria. It looks very different from the white one, doesn't it? Oh, this has got a lot more flavor action happening. There's a lot more juices in this. It's more deep. It's very like your traditional sangria taste. Quite good. I would give it um, three out of five sangrias. It's an interesting one, but it's not as good as the white. That's for sure. I would say this is a uh, medium-sized sangria glass. But it's full, the way we like them. But no fruit though. Either way. Mm. It's got a lot more body to it. Still manages to stay light. I feel like that's one that would sneak up on you. Three out of five balls. Apparently Barry wants us to play with fire. Ah. Oh. That's quite nice, but oh, Whew. it's like a six out of ten on the spice scale. This is something you get at like Macaba. I would give it a three and a half out of five tequilas. This is a good drink, but it's a little on the too spicy side for me. Like this is a slow sipper. I'm gonna want this ice to melt. So here we are on my journey to find a margarita that will actually hurt me. This one's called Playing With Fire. Not only is it topped in jalapenos with the seeds, it's also got jalapeno juice in it. And this beautiful rim. Let's um, do some bodily arson. Mm. Getting there. Wait for it, wait for it. Wait for it. Yeah. I was hoping this one would choke me, choke me like it hates me. It's like a three out of ten on the spice scale. I'm just not there yet. One of these days, I will find a margarita that hurts me. This one has a nice flavor to it. The hot is a nice kick. A little more savory than some. The mezcal doesn't add the sort of smoke that the, the pineapple margarita had, but I still like it. Three and a half out of five plus. Way in which they offer these tacos. Last time we came here, they were actually taco. Now this time, we get to make our own tacos. That was like a nice little like pocket of taco tortilla. We get some of these beautiful red kidney beans. So many onions on here. Let's go with this. I'm gonna pour a little sauce. Ooh. Probably should have kept that bear day from the uh, guac. Though bear and I basically inhaled that. Cheers to you guys.
I made my uh, taco shrimp with the sauce. So good. Mm. So flavorful. Everything together balances perfectly. This is a solid dish. If you just want like a random place at Disney Springs to go to and have a meal with some omnis, this is the place. And they have great drinks. And if you're not gonna go to Epcot, here. This is a good one. I don't know. It's like a tie between this one and the Maya girl. Well, Salado is pretty amazing too. Maybe it's number three? Yeah, I'll put this one in number three for like Mexican places to eat. Not in a park. Eggplant tacos. Kind of excited for this. I like the willingness to experiment with actual vegetables, not all meat. Now we love how all meat has come along in the last few years, but a well-seasoned veggie as a protein replacement is always the preferred. So let's see how this uh, taco do. Some of the most well-seasoned eggplant I think I've ever had. I was putting them to just fall apart and be in this little mush. But the seasonings of all that, the bite, everything feels good. Everything feels authentic, better yet. That is an awesome flavor. This is another one of those places I recommend that if you don't like all meat, come here. Four to five bucks. So I got this uh, shrimp dish with the uh, Mojo flavored shrimp. Taco out of the taco pocket. Got its little lime chilling over here. I don't usually need lime or citrus for my shrimp, but they put it here, I'm gonna put it to use. Give it a little generous squirt. So we got some rice. Got this looks to be some like chopped up plantains here on the bottom. No beans for me. I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like the princess has more options to build her tacos, and then I got this. So what I got had better be good. Probably too much rice. Put that all in there. If the sauce is already on the shrimp. This is me trusting our server. Oh yeah. And how white, right I was to trust her judgment. That sauce on her shrimp is amazing. I got nice subtle tangy heat to it. And the plantains in the bottom just gives like this hint of sweetness with the rice. Oh yes, that's a treat. That is unlike any other shrimp taco I think I've ever had. And it feels more unique because I didn't just like fry it and dump some slaw on top of it. This made with care. Mm. Oh yeah. I lamented the loss of the pork belly tacos when I was on the menu, but this is even better. Four and a half out of five plus. Remember people, the spicy margarita does not go up your nose. It will be extremely, extremely uncomfortable. Eric Machina. It was very delicious. It was a very amazing experience. Special thanks to Lauren, to the amazing server, yeah. great recommendations, and this place has held its quality, even though we haven't been here in like over a year. And if you're curious what type of leaf it is they serve on their plates, it's a banana leaf. Yeah. Just for just for shows. It's nice. Just it, make sure you let them know if you have a banana allergy. Yeah, it's probably a good thing. But I had an amazing time, the food was good, the drinks are still amazing. Definitely a place I'd recommend if you're on a random Springs day and you want something just a little Agreed. bit nicer. It's great Mexican food. And if you get the mango version of their guac, they actually put tahini on it. So this is like one of only two locations 
on Disney property that puts tahini on their guacamole. All the tahini. We want to know what do you guys think of Punta Nera Cochina? Would you guys come here? Is there any other place that you think does it better? Let us know in the comments. Is there anywhere else you want to go around Disney Springs or Orlando, period? That's going to be a place to find us. Hit that notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We'll see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. And like this video for Disney Springs. Actually, just like this video because you want us to continue on this journey. And subscribe and hit the like button or the notification button and do all of the things so that we know that we should keep doing this.